All right, all right. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Two chains. How are you? Nice, nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Sean, nice to nice meet, meet you. Nice to meet you, Sean. Mr. Larry, how you doing? Have a seat, man. <laughs> all right. Talk to me now, man. They told me about hovering bags. I'm thinking movie stuff where somebody's flying in the air and they got gun coming out the side. But they look like those things that's on the back of like leaf floors and everything, like the size of the. <laughs> if I jump out of plane, will it act as a parachute? Tell me about it. No. They didn't tell me nothing. They just threw me out here in the fire. That's it. Well, you're in so, for a treat. The backpack sort of hovers while it glides. A hoverboard was, was around here falling, breaking our necks on with the aerial aspect with the glide. So the backpack stays in one spot while you go up and down. While I'm up and down, the backpack doesn't it Stays move. in one spot. That's right. <laughs> we, we, we can fill this thing with eggs, and none would be broken. Man, here. get out of here, Larry. <laughs> get out of here, man. We have weight in it just to show a okay. load in the backpack. It's like I'm going hiking. A little quick hike. But then here comes a bear. A bear's coming. No, no, what am I going to do? Glad I have a hover glide on. Well, I think you're supposed to stand still. The bear's <laughs> yeah. on. So as I go up and down, the pack stays in one spot. See it? Sit. Sit. So I'm hovering and gliding. Turn a little bit. Keep tur turning so you can see the markers. All right. One more time. So your eggs are safe. Why, what, what made you come up with this idea, man? The original idea was to make an electricity generating backpack for, for the military. There's yes. a large problem with backpacks. You have to lift the weight in the backpack, you lower it, and if you're running with a backpack, it'll cause pain on your joints and your Because knees. of the stuff is not yeah. stationary, it's yeah, always so moving around. That kills your knees, your neck, your shoulders, and, and everything else. So this all prevents that. that. Yes, and they reduce the impact forces by 80 to 90%. Don't nothing in the boot bag move, you know what I mean? They got these springs on here. It looks like it's been, it's been tested. It looks like it's been battle tested. And we tested these um, on the Rocky Steps in Philadelphia. And oh, I've been up those steps. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I've, I've ran up them steps. I hit the Adrian. That's how you tested the book. Yeah, Get yeah, out of yeah, here. Yeah, 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 Get yeah. out of here. No, 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 no. Yeah. True. We have the kind that you regular civilians can get. And this is for the guys fighting for the country. Why did the Army reach out to you? What made you be the guy for this? I, I'm a pro, pro professor at the U, U, University of Pennsylvania. Okay. And my research is on how fish swim and how they use their muscles. And I was talking to Office Naval research because they wanted to build a submersible vehicle which swam like a fish. And then they just called me out of the blue. They said, we don't have money for, for the fish thing, but we, we, you know, we have a new, new problem in, in, in Afghanistan. I'm thinking, WTF, why, why are you asking me? You sort of came up with the idea on, on that phone call. And I think it's very intriguing that you study the movements of fish because I have a really, really big aquarium. Oh, really? OK. I like fish for some reason. They're kind of peaceful to me, but I never thought to even question how they move. I, I thought they just swam. I never, I never cared, so. Fish can go from here to there in about 15 thousandths of a second. Fish. How much weight do they hold? This one can hold 120 pounds. Wow. A whole you. You watching. It, it, put, I could put you in here. I'll take you running. All right, so give me some prices, man. This is called most expensive business. Now, how much are these damn hover glides, bro? Dude, this would be $399. $300? Yeah. $99. And this would be $499. $400? $99. This is that's a, a good deal. That's... These are mildly expensive. This what one is mean? so expensive, you have to be in the military to own one. You just can't buy one. This is the most expensive business off the grid for like roughly $400? $99. 